We're right out on the uh, point at Allison, which is uh, normally would be occupied by puffins, but they left about a week ago. But I still reckon it's just worth to just look at the jagged rocks back here and the sea that's moving. Yeah, you know, it's a bitterly cold wind going on here today, as you're probably here in the background. But, you know, it's amazing coast like here in Newfoundland, that's for sure. It really, really is. It's rugged, it's jagged. Um, you know, you can just see the erosion and the ice that comes through here. It leaves its mark on the stones. And, you know, it's a country that I have to say, it's an island, I should say, that is just well worth putting on your bucket list to come and visit. And certainly, you know, we'll be doing another tour here. Um, hopefully next year, we'll have a look at it, um, see if we can fit into the schedule. But uh, this is just really, really gorgeous, gorgeous scenery. That's for sure. Take it in. We'll show you a little bit more as we come back around. What's over there in the background way in the distance is Allison itself. Little town used to be full of cod fishermen, but uh, in the late 90s that overfished the Grand Banks and the Canadian government made the decision that that was it. And so the fishing industry around this area just died. Died overnight and you can see it in the towns and as we've driven through today what we've noticed is the towns are trying to reinvent themselves and we were uh, came from a, a, a little town that was a fisherman's, uh, built by the Fishermen's Union back in 1912 and um, they're reinventing it, they're rebuilding all the buildings and they're going to make something that is really special for uh, the tourists. So that'll take a few years but uh, it's what you've got to do. Look at this cove down here, these beautiful grey round rocks, sea pounding in on them on a very chilly autumn day.